By 1966, the graduates included some who had earned BSc degrees. They were, I think, degrees awarded by the then University of East Africa. In a sense, the graduation of the Dar es Salaam University College, but I am pleased to say that it has continued to cooperate closely with the simultaneously graduated new universities of Kenya and Uganda. All three university colleges went into university status at the same time. There is still close informal cooperation between the universities of our three countries. Now there is also some exchange of students between Tanzania and Zambia. On each of those occasions, and in annual reports for a decade afterwards, we have been able to record the expansion in the numbers of students and staff of courses offered and of buildings. And although fortunately we still benefit from the services of a few non-Tanzanian members of staff, the day has long passed when our country had to depend upon expatriates for its teachers in all faculties and departments and at almost all levels. Yet we were very lucky in those we had here in 1961 and the following early years. Under the leadership of Professor Pratt from Canada, they laid an excellent foundation of learning, teaching and research for our university. And they trained good Tanzanian staff to take over from them, many of whom have by now trained and passed over to their own successors. 